Hey there, fancy friends, it's Oliver, and this video is about thrusting with a saber. But uh, aren't curved sabers not only for cutting? Surprise! Christmas cut and thrust fencing contains thrusts. And they are German over engineered as well. For a quick overview, let's have a look at this. We differ 9 thrusts, 4 on the outside, 5 on the inside and we use um, the hand positions we already know from our cuts and parries, mostly. Um, yeah, but I talked um, about how to present you these 9 thrusts because one really could make a few dozens of videos about them, um, but I think for the most of you the presentation and some general advices uh, will fit your needs. For all of you uh, reading the book and uh, want to dive deeper into, um, feel free to ask me if you have specific questions, um, I will answer them for sure. And. Don't hesitate and be the one who asks, because um, for sure there are several people with the same question and they don't ask because of different reasons. Before I will show you the thrusts in more detail, um, please note the following points. First, thrusts on the high inside, hit the chest. Thrusts on the high outside, hit the armpit and all thrusts underneath the blade um, hits the belly. And second or thrusts should be given with a binding or a possible binding with the edge or the back edge of the blade. And third, because of the curve of the saber, um, we use hand positions to bring in the thrust in a good angle. Um, one will have to change them a bit if the blade is more or less curved or even straight. And uh, finally, the thrusts are optimized against a guard in high second or preem and if your opponent fences in another style, we have to anticipate also. And now to the thrusts. We start with the easiest one, the Zekonstoß outwards. From our guard position, just straighten out the arm and thrust under the armpit. You will have and need strong bind. The Zekonstoß outwards also aims at the armpit, but this time you position your saber in a bind that the thrust could go around the opponent's blade. The Halbcircle Stoß outwards is a bit different. Christman uses a position called Halbcircle Quad, uh, which means that the arm would be in quad position on the inside, but your hand is in Halbcircle motion. This position is also used in Abfang. And I also made a video on that. Have a look. The thrust is similar to the quad stroke because it binds with the back of the blade and thrusts assisted by it curves. Now to the inside. The Primstoß high is done in the same hand position we use in the parry to get a bind with the edge. And if I said high, there's also a Primstoß low. Same, same, but you have to lower the arm to hit the belly. Quadstoß inwards has the same position as its outwards equivalent, but now we have a very strong bind because we are lying on the top of the opponent's blade. Halbzirkelstoß inwards just have to lower the arm without moving in Halbzirkel Quad. Finally, the, the corn stores inwards is also a low thrust with lowered arm to hit the belly. I know, again, 
and again, it works. So, but now to the parries. If you want to parry them, we use um, the already known parries in second and prim. Only for the thrusts in um, the lower openings, we have to lower our arm as needed. Um, by the way, this is something special about Chrisman. Uh, mostly all of the combinations ends with a parry and not with a touch. Some of you might say this will create problems and artifacts and... I don't want to say it's not true, but the bonus is you could fence all the combinations with a minimum of gear. And it's historically accurate. Paragraph 42 is about the thrusts and parries. And as I told you before, every attack is given by lunch and every parry is supported by Zurücksetzen. <coughs> Safety first. This will look like so. Something special again at the end. Uh, what if the opponent stands into something like a guard in quart? You know, as only the best saberists do, as Colin Fieldhouse told us frequently in his nothing classes. Chrisman told us also about the Terzstoß, which aims um, from the outside to the inside of the chest and is well known. The only difference is we use the same position of the hand as we use for the cut um, to the flank. So a uh, light um, angle instead of being parallel to the ground. This should be to deal with the curve of the saber to um, hit the right spot. But as someone pointed out, um, it also perfectly fits with the angle of the ribs, so the thrust um, would be easier going through the uh, upper torso. Who knows? This thrust could also be done if an opponent who fences Christmas system has his arm very low or the saber is very high, for example, after the most cuts. Um, in this case, the thrust would be parried with a fitting parry. Everyone who is still watching, let me say thank you for your interest and see you in the next video.